Hi there, welcome again to my channel. Today our topic is about English 10, Quarter 1, Module 7, Lesson 3, entitled Analyzing Tone in Spoken Text. But for that, if you are new in this channel, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and also click the notification bell para palagi kayong updated sa aking bagong video, and of course, please share also. Alright, let us start. Lesson 3, Analyzing Tone in Spoken Text. Yung Lesson 1 and Lesson 2 ay uh, na-post ko na. So, nandiyan yan sa aking channel. In this lesson, you will be guided in analyzing tone in a spoken text. Before you begin accomplishing these different tasks in this lesson, you are expected to do the following. First, use appropriate tone or tones of a text. And then, Appreciate the importance of tone in writing spoken text. By the way, dapat hawak ninyo ang inyong module habang pinapanood nyo ang video na to para mahasagutan nyo yung mga part na walang sagot sa keto correction. And let me remind you also, I only uh, included in this video the parts in the module which have no answer in the keto correction. Okay, what is new? Directions, read the poem of Petrarch and pay attention to the details and the emotions expressed by the author in his poem. Answer the process, uh, processing questions on the space provided. Here is a song, of, uh, song entitled Laura, translated by Maurice Bishop. She used to let her golden hair fly free, for the wind to toy and tangle and molest. Her eyes were brighter. Than the radiant west, seldom they shine, so now I used to see. Pity looked out of those deep eyes on me. It was false pity, you would now protest. I had love's tender heap within my breast. What wonder that the flame burned furiously. She did not walk in any mortal way, but with angelic progress when she spoke. Unearthly voices sung in unison. She seemed divine among dreary folk. Of earth, you say she is not so today. Well, though the bows unbent, the wand bleeds on. All right, here are the process questions. Number one, which lines from the poem indicate positive emotions? All right, be ready with your ball pen and your paper. Here, here is a suggested answer. By the way, answers may vary. It depends on you. Pwede niyong kopyahin nito. Pwede niyo ring i-edit. Okay. Answer. First is line number one. She used to let her golden hair fly free. Is the first positive emotion. Next is line number three. Her eyes were brighter than red, the radiant west. And then line number seven. I had love's tender heap within my breast. And line number 11, unearthly voices sung in unison. All these lines show positive emotions. Okay. Question number two. What is the attitude or emotion implied in the poem? Okay. Possible answer. The emotion implied in the poem is a combination of joy and sorrow. Happiness and loneliness. And also it seems the persona is happy, but deep within, the persona's heart is bleeding as shown in the last line. By the way, yung last line, I, uh, let me see, this one. Well, though the bows unbent, the wound bleeds on. Okay, let us proceed. Activity 3.3. Directions. Summarize your learning of the lesson by completing the given statements. Number one, the tone, tone in writing is, okay, is the answer, is the attitude of a writer toward a subject or an audience. Question number two, we can apply tones in writing by Okay, using specific words that show emotion, feelings, or any attitude towards the subject. By the way, para makopya ninyo ito, you should uh, just pause the video 
and then start copying. Okay, next, what I can do? All right, in this activity 3.4, here's the direction. Compose at least two stanza poems of any topic. Each stanza must consist of four lines each. You can use any of the tones among the given types. Use the rubrics provided as your guide in writing the poem. Okay. Be ready with your ballpen and your paper. Here's the possible answer. By the way, this poem is my own composition for you. You cannot find this in the internet. Okay, let us start. The title here is Broken Heart. You were there waiting for somebody. Waiting patiently, it seems you're not happy. Ignoring the surrounding while the time pass away. Fighting the boredom till the end of the day. Next stanza, you know he's not coming. You think it couldn't be. Because what really happened is what you don't expect. It's so disgusting. All right. You should uh, try to copy this down. And uh, you can revise this also. And uh, you can do that. And of course, you cannot find this in the internet because this is uh, my own composition. I'll give you a minute to copy this down in your paper. All right, uh, if you have learned something from this video again, please don't forget to like, subscribe, click the notification bell in order to be updated, and of course, please share also. Thank you very much for watching. See you again.